what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel if it is your first time touching down on this channel then welcome to small feet big heat we talk sneakers we talk streetwear and everything in between and today is another streetwear video now i don't know about all of you but i live in new york and right now new york is practicing social distancing which means for the last three weeks i have been at home a lot of the time i say all of that to kind of give you all an idea of what i've been up to since i've been home a lot I have been online shopping quite a lot as well. I would say even more so than usual, but I did have a couple of pickups that were recently delivered. Some of these were things that I bought and was holding on to to do an unboxing since before the quarantine. And some of these things were recently delivered and then I have even more stuff on the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox or show what I have right now and the reason why I'm saying it's not really an unboxing is because everything has been taken out of its packages and kind of wiped down already just for my personal safety um, these pro products and packages go through a lot in transit so what I've been doing is wiping all of my packages down at the door I open it up outside and then I take the actual product back inside with me and wash my hands right away uh, hopefully you all are practicing that as well when you are having things delivered to your home. So the first thing that I'll be showing to all of you is this Aaliyah tea that I picked up from a brand called Color Bars. Now I've never heard of this brand before but I do follow up with Network if you're familiar with like that app. I use it sometimes um, and I saw this drop that was for a brand called Color Bars where they were basically doing an Aaliyah capsule and so I picked up this portrait tea. Um, it is very reminiscent of like a Supreme photo tee or something like that. Now when I first saw these go up on Network, I was like, yeah, I definitely want a piece out of this collection. I really like Aaliyah's music and I think like everyone else believes she was taken from us way too soon. A great musical artist and a dope tee. That portrait is a really nice photo of her. Once again, it does say the brand name Color Bars right below her. Uh, honestly, I think they could have dealt without putting that there. Just kind of let the photo speak for itself. They even have like a custom tag up here at the neck. Very nice detail. If I had to compare it to a Supreme tee, I would say the cotton feels a little bit lighter. But in terms of shape and size, it's very, very similar. Now this shirt did go ahead and drop in a couple of different colors. You had a navy, a black, I believe there was a cream white color, and then also this wine color. The wine was like a no-brainer for me. I don't know what it is about this spring summer, but I'm definitely into purples, like just wines, lilacs, lavenders. I've just really been feeling purple for some reason right now. I did just compare that last shirt to a Supreme shirt and next up we are actually talking about a Supreme shirt. Now this shirt is from week one and it is in that lilac color that I mentioned. This is the Supreme Cherries tee that released week one and if you look at the graphic there you have a woman with her mouth open and she's just dangling these cherries just right over her tongue and on the ring if you guys can see it um, it does say Supreme on that blinged out ring that she has there. Now this next one is from a lesser known brand, but I did a video on them recently and you guys seem to really fuck with it. So we have some more Half Evil on deck. Um, this piece is actually from a recent drop that they did. Not the most recent, the most recent was yesterday. But this is from like the drop prior to that. My dates are a little fucked up because like I said, I've been in the house for the last three weeks. But uh, that side, let's look at the shirt. So this is the 333 bling tee that they came out with recently or the demon bling tee, I believe it was called. So as you can see, you have a demon and then in his hands, in his grubby little demon hands is a blinged out big old 333 very nice um i love these kind of blinged out tees ftp did one recently and i'm still trying to grab it at a good price so uh, it was ftp bling tee this tee does seem like it's gonna fit a little oversized and i'm absolutely in love with the wash on this shirt it is like a washed out gray color and it's just really really nice that they use that wash like it just looks really fire vintage tees are in right now and after this one has been worn and washed a couple of times it's gonna look even better than it does right now 
so this next one is actually the first one that i ordered funny how that worked out so it was the first one to be delivered and then it just kind of sat and sat and sat while i was putting stuff together for this video um let me know down below in the comments if you guys like when i unbox things or unbag them when i get them kind of one at a time as they show up at the door or do you like when i kind of save up a couple of pieces and put them all in one video so let's get into these pants you have the Eric Emanuel reusable bag as usual. Um, this one actually has a hole in it, but I'll still use it to wrap up my shoes when I'm traveling from A to B. These pants are the Eric Emanuel Bulse or Bulse. I hope I'm saying that right, but it's the Bulse cotton sweatpants. Um, I was really feeling these when I saw them. Like the texture is just different as hell. I've never seen sweatpants that are this texture. Like I've seen the teddy bear sweats but that's not really what this is it's kind of knitted like a knitted cotton i picked these up because that knitted cotton or whatever kind of technique was used to make these is really nice very cozy vibes and of course you have that eric emmanuel logo and it's printed but a very durable print like you can feel it's not moving anywhere anytime soon and all of my eric emmanuel pants have held up very well in the wash i will say that and of course they are open bottom kind of as usual eric emmanuel does not make pants with the cuffs but they do kind of like have a taper so these will fit really well and if you guys want to see how they fit in an upcoming video let me know but i do plan to get back at it with the outfit videos that i started doing so maybe you'll see these appear in one of those videos and this is about it this is all that has hit my doorstep so far i do have more packages on the way make sure you like comment subscribe show us more youtubers some love it really does help and i will see you guys in the next one